Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Linda Wilson, and I'm a member of the Board of Realtors. I know you have questions for me, but we'll save those for later because I totally understand the outrage that homeowners are feeling because of the high property reassessment taxes. But I'm here to update you on what the Jackson County Office is currently doing. They have apologized and acknowledged that their reassessment system does have issues. And what they have done is hired local realtors to do the reassessment process. Like there was 21,000 Jackson County homeowners that submitted their request for reevaluation by the deadline of September the 3rd. So those reassessments will happen. And I know this is occurring because my son, Luther Wilson, is a realtor also, and he is on the reassessment review committee. Yes, I am a proud mother. I will share with you three reports that are appearing in the news. The first report you are hearing that on KCTV5, they reported that the uh, Jackson County did acknowledge they are having reassessment issues. When they had their informal review process, Gail McCann's BD office, they discovered that they were, they had accessed some properties not taking into account the vacant lots next door. They also acknowledge and apologize for not having enough tax assessors. Based on the number of homes in the Jackson County area, they would need over a thousand property tax assessors and they currently only have 15. So you can see what the dilemma is for them and they want your continued support they have organized a review committee to take care of these issues. The third report that's in the news is, is a conversation with the Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. They had a conversation with 41 Action News, and Action News reported that the county opted out not to pay in a $2,000 membership fee for the full use of the MLS service. That is called a multiple listing service to do their reevaluations. And the MLS is a database that has detailed information and values of, of the homes. And this is commonly used by realtors and brokers, appraiser, and even the county assessor's office. So they realize their error and have corrected this. The third report that's in the news is, is that they have three lawsuits against them. The first lawsuit is discrimination. The second is failure to do physical inspection. And the third is the failure to meet standard industry standards but they have hired a legal team that will address these allegations. So in conclusion, homeowners should not live in fear of losing their home because of high property taxes. So what the Jackson County is doing is that they are reviewing the appeals. They are using the MLS database and they will address the issue of doing physical inspections and they will think about or look into the impact of having a 15 percent cap with the how that would affect the property taxes so the jackson county appreciates your support and your patience so if you would like more information please feel free to contact gail mccann Beatty's office or mayor quincy lucas office also and if you would like I have their contact information. I will open it up for questions now. I have a question. Am, am I able to get comparable house values for my home? Because I, I, I got my reassessment back, and I, I think that they grossly overestimated the value of my house based on the taxes, and I would like to, to see what the comps are. Okay. 
totally understand your question. And it depends on the area that you live in. There was a certain area in Jackson County where they had issues with high tax property. But if you're not in the Jackson County area, so when your realtor pulls up the information, the CMA, the comparables in your area, they will be accurate for you. So feel free to reach out to a real estate agent to get those numbers for you. Yes, there were 21,000 homeowners in Jackson County that submitted their application for reevaluation. So if you were in that number, then they are going to reevaluate your reassessment. So it will take a while. So they're looking for your support and continued patience while they work through getting all of them done. First, they're going to take care of the 21,000 that submitted their applications first. You can still submit an application, but you still will be on the waiting list to get yours reviewed. Thank you for that question. Any more questions? Catherine, did you have a question? Well, if you would like more, if you'd like more information, you can contact the mayor. It was about Jackson County property reassessment taxes, how they are high. Okay. Uh -huh. And how the Jackson County is taking issues to resolve this. They have organized committees and they have hired realtors to take care of the 21,000 applications of reassessment. Okay. They're working it out. They just want the support and patience of the homeowners. You tell reassessment program? Yeah, does Wyandotte County have any sort of uh, reassessment program where they're using realtors to, to value property? You can contact a local realtor to have your property to help you with getting your property reassessed. So, uh, can, I, so. can I send that reassessment to Wyandotte and dispute their assessment? Yes, you can. You can have a realtor help you put those numbers together. Okay. Thank you.